the 2019 Titleist Pro V1 against the 2019 TaylorMade TP5. Chris, are you a TP5X or TP5 normal guy? Normal for me. What about Pro V1? Pro V1X or Pro V1 normal? Pro V normal. <laughs> <laughs> the 2019 TP5X against the 2019 Titleist Pro V1X. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome. And second of all, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. In today's video, we are comparing the brand new 2019 Pro V1 and the 2019 TP5. Well, Chris will be comparing the Pro V1 and the TP5 and I will be comparing the Pro V1X and the TP5X. So guys, here's how this is gonna go. We're playing 18 holes here at the glorious Ganton Golf Club. For me, one of the best golf courses in the UK. Chris is gonna play the standard ball, the Pro V1 and the TP5, and I'm gonna play the X equivalent, TP5X and Pro V1X. Front nine will be Titleist, back nine will be tailor-made, and we're gonna to bring to you which one we feel suits our game, and hopefully which one suits your game. I'm playing too much. Now the big story about 2019 and golf balls is speed, distance, power. How far can we get this golf ball going through the air? Both the brand new Pro V1 and the brand new TaylorMade TP5 are claiming that with an enhanced core system, we are all gonna get more ball speed out of the new products. But is enhanced ball speed gonna help everyone lower the scores? Or should we all just hit tee shots like this? Chris, do you think enhancing ball speed would help lower your scores? Uh, yeah, I think a little bit more distance I might get, might play to help. You now, if I'm hitting a wedge in compared to hitting a four iron in, it'd be nice. <laughs> Also, both balls now offer a new cover, so both balls are supposed to be more durable, not than each other, but than the previous last year's model. Is that a big deal for you guys? Comment below. So Chris, we spent quite a lot of time on the putting green before we played. Yeah. Didn't take quite as long to get here as what we expected. Could you see any difference on the kind of greens with the balls? Obviously the Titleist um, and the TaylorMade. I'd definitely say the Titleist felt a little bit softer off the face than last year's ball. I mean, I use that normally and it felt a little bit softer, so just took a little bit of getting used to, but it certainly feels a bit nicer off the face of the putter. And in comparison, the TaylorMade and the Titleist, either one softer or putter? Um, I'd say they're pretty similar. Yeah. Um, both felt the same off the face, so it'd be interesting to see in regards to full swing how it affects that, if it's going to change any distance on them, one or the other. Same. <laughs> flight nobody knows real interesting day for testing balls as well because it's really really windy you can probably tell on some of the audio from the video but i'm really interested to see not only how the balls perform but how the balls perform in the wind when it matters do you just hate mondays chris yeah mondays are grind Oh. Oh. 
place too much. <laughs> oh no, Chris. What? No. Oh, another one back to do. That was Midabai Creek tea. Ah. Chris, looking down at you here with that iron and those shoes, looks like 1999. Rolling back the years. <laughs> Oh, what a strike. Pika, what's in Chris's bag? Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> All time low. What a weapon. Holds them for fun. Let's do it. <laughs> Send it back, it's rubbish. So we're a couple of holes in now with the Titleist golf balls. I must say it's an absolutely stunning day here at Ganton. And the Pro V ones are good, the Titleists are very good, that's no surprise. Titleist have always made very, very good golf balls, haven't they? I think the big the big test is gonna come back nine, TP5, TP5X. See just how it compares. We're both hitting it fairly well today, so it's a nice kind of fair, fair comparison. And like I said earlier, the wind's up, so that's going to be a real factor in determining which ball's probably going to perform best. What an absolute gorgeous golf hole this is. You can't polish it, Chris. He's even got an SQ towel. <laughs> nice SQ. These tailor-mades are going to have to be pretty special on the back nine to beat the Pro V1s. I've used them for years. Oh! oh. Well, can we beat the back? I've had nearly four cars, have you? No. I went bogey, bogey, bogey. Oh, 30. Car. Car. Let's call it level, then. Anyway, when did you turn into Henrik Stenson? Oh, got it, Anna. Low shaft, jobs are good and fair way finding. Lost it in air. Oh my god! That's just. <laughs> So yeah guys, I reviewed this on my channel on Monday, so that is now live on the channel. Go check it out. Callaway Epic Sub-Zero 3 wood. Staggering. I don't think it matters what ball you use from in there. Ah, it's prickly down here. So guys, we are nine holes in here at, and again, I can't stress, the beautiful Ganton Golf Club. Chris, nine holes in. You're using the Pro V1, what do you yeah. think? Uh, well, again, no surprises. It uh, seems to be flying just as well as last year's one, but again, no real surprises, but it's still a good ball. Interested to see what the TP5 has to offer on the back nine? Yeah, it'll be interesting. I haven't used it before, so it'll be interesting to see if I get any more distance or just how it feels compared to I've always used the Pro V, so 
it will be interesting. So we're going to finish this hole up. Chris is going to move into the standard tailor-made TP5, and I'll move into the T. And I'll move into the. No. Yeah, Chris is going to move into the standard TP5, and I'm going to move into the TP5X. This will be interesting. Now, unbelievably there, me and Chris have finished nine holes at Ganton without losing a golf ball, which is pretty astounding to be fair. Chris, how has the Pro V1 fared? It's not too bad. Any scuffs? Any? No, I've been in a few bunkers, there's a little scuff on it, but yeah. other than that it's held up better than they normally do, so. And I've got to say the same, I mean, one thing with the golf course as it is at the moment, it's a winter golf course, we're hitting a lot of wedges in where normally maybe you wouldn't do. I've got a couple of scuffs on this Pro V1X, but nothing, I mean, nothing really to, to worry about. Chris, what are the betting odds on us not losing a TP5 on the back nine? Slim to none. <laughs> oh, go in! Oh. Right, ball. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys, I'm very much looking forward to trying this TP5X golf ball. When I did the review with the brand new TP5, TP5X with Mark, the mid-handicap golfer, I used the standard TP5, so I'm interested to get into the TP5X. I very much enjoyed the standard TP5. I absolutely smashed a drive down our ninth hole at Fixby, and for the winter conditions, it went miles. If you remember, Mark Bushnell, the front of the tee, it was like 3.05 away. So that's Chris moving into the brand new TP5 ball for the rest of this year. And this is an interesting one for me. The TP5 is supposedly supposed to go further. Is that a good thing or a bad thing if that's where it puts me? Chris, birdie two with the first hole of the tailor-made TP5, how do you feel? Straight in the bag. Brexit, that's not even my bag. <laughs> so, I'm just looking at the holes we've got to play and I'm thinking maybe this wasn't such a fair test because the back nine's way harder than the front nine here at Ganton, but we'll give it a good go. Two holes in with the tailor-made TP5s. And the camera's let us down, so we're now filming on the phone. And we're both, both of us, looking for golf balls. Oh, there's one right in there, look, is there? So... Yeah, so we've lost one, I'm afraid. What is this? This, this is miles offline, if this is my ball. There she is. Found it! Now, where do we go from here? Now I think it's locked. Not bad stopping though, over 50 yards or so. So this is a par five now. It's quite a narrow entrance from the tee, or quite a narrow tee shot, should I say. Just hit three wood, three wood. I think we're dancing. TP5X. Chris, 
First few holes with the TaylorMade TP5. I know we've had a few casualties. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think it's that much difference than the Pro V. I haven't seen any real difference as of yet, so feels nice off the bottom. Now golf ball tests are always a funny thing because, and if you've watched any of my golf ball tests before you will know, I just don't, I never see or feel a massive huge difference. I think I'm going to get these golf balls on a launch monitor and I'm going to test them primarily to see which ball I should use this year and I recommend you guys do the same as well but I think you have to feel comfortable around the greens, you have to feel comfortable putting out of bunkers and for me both these golf balls do that. I think. The TP5 is a nice alternative if you, you're bored of the mundane number one ball in golf. I've always used the Pro V1 and it's going to take something pretty special to get me to stop. TP5 is giving it a good go though. This new specially designed better wearing cover on the TP5X, that's only a couple of holes in. That's disappointing. Although I must say, if you do use black wedges like I do, any kind of miss strike, any shot low off the face, just kills the golf ball, absolutely murders it. Oh, that the Emirates Golf Club tee peg as well though. Now I've just absolutely pummeled that drive and I don't think it's gone as far as a Pro V1X would. I think it's gone a little bit too high, a little bit too spinny. I'm going to hit a Pro V1X down here. Hopefully I put as good a swing on it. Let's put it to the test. Pretty good again. I think the Pro V1's done it there. Let's go find out. Chris has come up good again. So in the meantime, Chris is trying his best to lose these TP5s, aren't you, Chris? So, Pro V1 versus TP5, two really well hit drives, one on the right hand side rough, one on the left hand side of the rough. Here we have the Pro V1, Pro V1X, and over there we have TP5X. So interestingly there, the TP5, the, the, ta <laughs> the TaylorMade has put 10 yards on the Pro V1. Both felt really good shots. I can't say that I felt one's had a different kick or that one's had more wind help. It's just TP5's done it there. Par 5 at Ganton, TaylorMade TP5X. There for two. Unbelievably as well, that ball stopped. This is, I can't tell you how kind of big this slope is as well. Real big slope here. That ball stopped unbelievably well. Ah, Chris. So guys, we're gonna play one more hole, primarily because I think you've seen enough, we've definitely seen enough, to give you a little bit of a conclusion on the brand new Titleist Pro V1 and the brand new TaylorMade TP5. Let's hit a few more shots with the brand new TP5, then we'll have a roundup. <laughs> oh dear. And that, ladies and gents, was the last TP5 Chris ever hit. So guys, we are actually going to round that up there because we've both lost another TP5. So yeah, make of that what you will. Like I said earlier on, I do think that the back nine here at Ganton is quite a bit harder than the front nine. We both played really well in the front nine actually. 
but I do feel as though there's definitely something in this TP5. Um, the, the, the drive that I hit down the last hole particularly, the par 5, I felt the Pro V1 should have beaten it. I felt like it was, the ball flight was a little bit hotter. I felt like it was less spinny. I thought it should kind of battle through whatever wind we've got. And actually that wasn't the case. The TP5 was a good five or 10 yards past it. Chris, is that your ball there? Yeah. Is that you? I would love to show you more on the new durable cover of the TP5 like we did with the Pro V1 however it's somewhere over there so I can't really show you that much but I did see a couple of marks on it already it seemed to get roughed up quite quickly remember I lost one earlier as well so I hadn't played that many holes with the TP5X it was starting to sort of lose its shell a little bit so so if you are quite thrifty with the golf balls and you don't like to be buying them and replacing them when they get worn out maybe the tight list is a little bit better so that was a false alarm but this isn't a false alarm we are going to finish here guys if i were you i would definitely go and test these balls head to head find out which works best for you hit those comments below what golf ball are you going to use this year are you going to use pro v1 are you going to use tp5 chris what ball are you going to use this year chris and why? Is that because you've lost all my TP5s? Yep, can't afford any more. Times are hard, friends of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been James Robinson. Today we have been at the beautiful Ganton Golf Club. Guys, see you soon.